realize you think natural relations don't affect your spiritual relationship when it dies. Mm -hmm. Natural drama that you dealt, dealt with affects your spiritual relationship. Right. You've been hurt so many times when you pull it committed. Okay. Help me, Jesus. You got hurt so bad because you fully committed. You know what I'm saying to you? I ain't mess, I ain't talking to nobody. I'm just preaching to somebody. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So when the faithful and true witness comes, you question his ability to perform. My God. You don't hear what I'm saying. That's why multiple loves ain't good for saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I spouse you mm -hmm. oh, Even a virgin on the crop. Uh -huh. right. I spouse you to one. That's why saints should have a spirit of fornication on them. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, sir. That means you got multiple lovers. Right. And your heart ain't whole. Because your heart going in three different directions. Mm -hmm. You need to settle it with the amen. 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 Oh, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Let me hit y'all with this talking about this great I am. I'm going to hit you with a concept the Lord revealed to me. No, I, want you, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I'm talking about those who want to transition. I'm talking about those that want to transition. Help me today, Lord. We'll talk about the greater I am more. Lord, help me. I've said this before and I've said it emphatically again. People can be scared of all they want to, but a fact is a fact. Is a fact is a fact. I want you as a child of God to understand this fact. Every person that you look at, every person that you look at from the day I make this statement until, until you die, I make the rapture. I want you to understand everyone that you see in life got two goals in their mind. They got two premises they live living after. Primarily. <laughs> Everybody you see. They live by one, one of this premise or another premise. People are preparing themselves to meet the Antichrist. Or they are preparing themselves to meet Jesus. Every person that you ever meet, especially if they're in church, they are diligently, you hear what I'm saying, preparing themselves to meet the Antichrist or they're preparing themselves to meet Jesus. They're doing it diligently and they're doing it with everything in them. One or the other. They might fool you with their pomp and circumstances, but they're passionately pursuing to meet the Antichrist or to meet Jesus. They're passionately pursuing. So hopefully this will help you to understand why some folk are cold and why others are hot. It depends on who you plan on meeting. Because who you plan on meeting, your every action, your every decision, your form of worship, your interaction with man, your relationship, the every relationship you establish, every goal that you're set is based on these premises. You're prepared to meet the Antichrist, or you're prepared to meet Jesus. How would you worship like that in church? Wow. Depends on who you plan on meeting. Wow. You've got to hear what I'm saying to you. Uh, the Antichrist 
shall be 666. And the Antichrist will have people put it in their head and put it in their forehead. Let me break it down to you. The number six means the number of man. Commemorating the day God created man. Meaning man at his cheapest point. 666. Man at his cheapest point. That's what the 666 means. Everything that's in man. And the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Happy Lord, happy Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's the truth. Never gonna convince you, you God. Okay. And at the same time, you worship Him. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Wow. Right. It's the maximum of man, 666, without God in control. Heart is desperately wicked, who can know it. The depth of the abomination of man will be revealed during the time period of Antichrist. Uh, okay. Maximum of the abomination of man. Yeah. You have saints playing with horoscopes. Right. Saints playing right there, which is the world. That's your entertainment session. Yes. You have saints. What God's called an abomination, they call it a lifestyle. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. 